We are at the Whiteface Mountain Atmospheric Sciences Research Center and the weather is awful. It just stopped raining for a minute. We decided to let the boys out and hike. We haven't had a very good day or beginning of the weekend for that matter. <clears throat> Tomorrow supposedly well I know supposedly uh, tomorrow for sure there is a half iron man going through the Adirondacks and around Lake Placid and everybody is telling me that all the roads will be closed until five o'clock now uh, that's pretty obnoxious since there aren't many roads in Lake Placid or around the Adirondacks so I don't believe that's really true. I think what they're going to do is close one half of the road and traffic will all go in one direction. So if you need to go from where I am to Lake Placid, which is eight miles away, you have to go around a loop, which is 50 miles. <laughs> so we probably won't be going any place important for the day, but we are in the Adirondacks and it is September 10th and 11th and the colors aren't really full yet but they're beginning to come there's a the side of the mountain there it's not in the clouds at the moment but and I thought we'd be on the trail but I guess we're not we're just on the driveway around the Atmospheric Science Center which is a really neat place if you come here you should uh, stop in they have a they used to have a big display and uh, information center about what they do and how they work and everything but it's usually free of skunks and badgers and things like that part of the fun of being in the Adirondacks this time of year is there is old fruits and vegetables from when there were farms here. I don't know what kind this is, but I'll bet it's delicious. Mmm! That is a good apple. We just had a nice conversation with some girls coming down the mountain from hiking up and down Whiteface. They were uh, looking to be uh, Adirondack 46ers, which means they, there are 46 mountains above 4,000 feet. And if you climb them all, you get uh, a little patch and bragging rights. But um, so they were they were doing it. They did it in uh, pretty good time. But they're both uh, runners, like at least half marathon runners, in pretty good shape, pretty young. Not greatly young, but 30s probably. 30s, maybe 40s, who knows. Uh, as I get older, they everybody looks younger. Boy, the white balance is a little off here, isn't it? <laughs> um, All right, there we go. So, they were telling me how there are so many people on the trail that they've met that just seem to have no clue how to hike. And I think that's always been true in the Adirondacks. There are uh, a lot of people who think it's okay to hike in Crocs, sneakers, things like that, which is kind of dumb. Wow, now this is interesting. Snowmobile. Zoom into that. Snowmobile and bicycle trail. <laughs> so you can bicycle up here. That's pretty neat. We're not really going in any real hike. This suddenly starts going up and you can see Dakota, he's looking at it like, we're not going up that, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it goes up and it's pretty rocky. He says, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> Come on, lazy man. Caesar, come back here. You're not climbing up that mountain. Come on. Come. We just have a really hard time staying on trails. I don't know why, but trails just bore me. And I hear all this water over here, but we haven't crossed anything, so... I'm wondering where all this water's coming from. <clears throat> this looks like an old trail that they're letting come back. All this water is coming down off the hill through these two big culverts. <clears throat> This must have been some kind of a railroad culvert a hundred years ago. And now it's just what's left. <laughs> and the boys say we want to get in that. <laughs> They've had enough time to do their business and duties out in the woods. Although Caesar seems to be having so much fun. I hate to make him go back to the trailer, but I'm worried it'll start raining again. There's a snow snake. Snow stake. Not a snow snake. Here come some runners. <laughs> He'll sit. Howdy! Oh, hi. <laughs> You're not in a hurry, are you? <laughs> I don't know why they're hurrying. We are at Buttermilk Falls off of Long Lake. It is the inlet to Long Lake and it is quite popular, but um, it is quite beautiful. We stopped to give you a tour of Buttermilk Falls. Take it easy, easy. They want to go up there. <laughs> Trust me. They're not into, you know, just boring stuff. You can drink, no swimming. Dakota! <laughs> You're just a brat.
It's a beautiful place. A lot of canoeists carry around this, of course. But um, some of them camp down in here, and there are places out in the woods here that you can camp. Oh, uh, well, not that you can camp, but people do camp. There are places that work just fine for camping. Dakota's going to go find them out. This is the canoe landing, where you'd land a canoe and then walk it out to the road. As you can see from the sign, <laughs> and the beaver has to get right in the water, of course. You can go swimming. Caesar doesn't really understand about rocks. He just likes to sit in it. It's actually a beautiful hot day for September in the Adirondacks. I think they're gonna slide down the, the falls. They wanna go down the falls. <laughs> 